Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan and we are discussing about the general surgery course. Today we'll be talking about the vermiform appendix and we all know that in the teenager and the adult group this is the most uh, most common surgical problem which is being encountered uh, which is the acute appendicitis uh, most commonly the acute appendicitis uh, why this is called as vermiform appendix because initially it was considered to be a vestigial organ so in and also uh, it's the 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 shape of the appendix is tubular which is you know it's a um, very much uh, very much similar to the vermiform appearance so that's why it's called as a vermiform appendix in this particular topic we'll be discussing about the surgical anatomy of the appendix because we all know that the uh, appendix is located in the right iliac fossa and we know that the abdomen is divided into nine quadrants and out of that nine quadrant the, ver uh, the vermiform appendix occupies the right iliac fossa so the surgical anatomy is uh, very much important uh, as because we know that the actually location is right at Lake Fosa, but it is the base of the appendix is that lies to the confluence of the tinea cali. That means the uh, the tinea, the longitudinal musculature of the cecum, they combine together, they meet together at the point which is called the confluence. So uh, in this lecture, we will be talking about the uh, surgical anatomy of the uh, of the appendix we will also be discussing about the microscopic anatomy because we know that uh, the appendix has got four layers mucosal layer submucosal layer the muscularis layer and then you have the subserosal layer uh, and uh, above that we have the lumen of the appendix we'll, we would be talking in detail about the microscopic anatomy we'll be talking about a little bit about the blood supply and the lymphatics of the appendix we know that the uh, appendix is only supplied by a single artery which is called Called as a pendicular artery, and a pendicular artery is a branch of posterior cecal artery, which is a branch of aleocolic artery. So, and regarding the lymphatics of the uh, appendix, we know that there are six to seven uh, lymphatic channels which are located in the premises of the appendix, which is draining the area of the appendix. So, we'll be discussing about the microscopic anatomy and the blood supply and the lymphatic drainage of the uh of the appendix as well then uh the most important and the most uh, important and common clinical entity is basically the acute appendicitis so we will be talking about the acute appendicitis we'll be talking about the presentation the particular signs and symptoms symptoms like nausea anorexia vomiting pain and pain usually starts from the central abdominal region which is called as a paraumbilical region and then it it gets migrated to the right leg fossa. So we'll be talking about particular symptoms and then we'll be talking about the signs regarding the tenderness, the rebound tenderness, the pointing sign, the obturator sign, source sign and the rofsing sign as well. So we'll be talking about all this uh, plus uh, then we would be talking about the differentials uh, and then we'll be talking about the appendectomy. Uh, differentials of the acute appendicitis are very common. We'll be talking about uh, these differential according to the age group. What we have to think uh, when a pa when a young patient is coming to you. What we have to think when a uh, when a ch when child is coming to you. What we have to think when an adult male is coming to you. So hopefully we'll be discussing this in today's lecture as well. So regarding the appendectomy, there are two types of append appendectomies. One is a, a conventional appendectomy. One is a retrograde appendectomy in case of the retrocecal appendix. And then obviously uh, the laparoscopic appendectomy, which is a diagnostic uh, entity today nowadays. So we'll be talking about the uh, procedure for the opening appendectomy like what kind of the incision you have to give in the most common two incisions are the rutherford morrison incision and the lands incision, incision as well lands is more cosmetic incision rutherford is not that uh, you know uh, lands is particularly made for the cosmesis 
especially because appendicitis is more common in the teenagers and the young adults and they're more common they're more very much concerned about the uh, scar so for kismesis you have to give the land incision then the, we will be talking about the steps of the appendectomy and then at the end we'll be talking about the laparoscopic appendectomy as well uh, in case of the recurrent acute appendicitis what's the cause of the recurrent acute appendicitis and what treatment modality should be there for the recurrent acute meniscitis this will also be discussed in today's lecture then uh, though neoplasms of the appendix are not very common let me tell you they are the rarer tumors out of all the tumors in the body so but uh, we need to know about the carcinite tumors which are involving the appendix and plus we also need to know about the different kind of the uh, other neoplasms like the epithelial neoplasms adenomas and you know polyps and uh, mucinous adenomas and the non-mucinous adenomas as well so we'll be talking about the neoplasms of the appendix as well and then at the end we will be talking about the pseudo myxema peritonei which is basically an entity which is involving the high-grade uh, neoplasms, particularly of the signet uh, type adenocarcinomas, which metastasize, and you find out the tumor deposits in the peritoneum and, you know, a varian, uh, varian part as well. You find the peritoneal deposits in the amentum. And then what kind of treatment modalities we have in case of the low-grade pseudomyxema peritona, in case of the high-grade pseudomyxema peritona, uh, in case of the uh, high group pseudomyxema peritona, you have to go for the cytoreduction therapy and, you know, a heated intraperitoneal chemotherapy as well. So uh, we'll be talking in detail about all these things. So this was the topic we're going to discuss in today's uh, lecture and the highlights of uh, the learning objectives we're going to discuss. There are so many other lectures on our website about the general surgery course, and um, you can find out there on uh, scardia.com you can always go there get access and enjoy um, our general surgery course and other courses as well so thank you for watching scardia.com keep watching